won't be dead right. Mr. Smith may have been right. That's for the jury to decide. But the important fact is that he almost died. The growing trend toward urbanization with its resulting concentration of population and cars is making the pedestrian more vulnerable to accidents. With more traffic congestion, more people and more cars, the pedestrian must be doubly careful. The pedestrian's rights and duties must be clearly understood and obeyed. Too many adults are prone to think of the pedestrian safety rules as applying only to children. For instance, most adults know that to be safe, one must wait for the new green light. Yet time and again we'll disregard this safety rule because we're in a hurry and cross after the light has been burning green for some time, only to find ourselves stranded in the middle. Not only have we disobeyed a safety precaution and made ourselves vulnerable to an accident, but we have been discourteous to the drivers who are forced to wait. So if the signal is an old green when you arrive, wait until the cycle changes and proceed on the new green light. The same rule applies for the walk and wait or walk and don't walk type of signal. Yet how many times have you found yourself stepping off the curb on a don't walk signal and being forced to dodge the rushing traffic before reaching the safety of the sidewalk? Though most state laws provide the pedestrian safe passage even though the light has changed, only a fool would jeopardize his life by being careless. Generally, state laws recognize the pedestrian's right of way in marked and unmarked crosswalks. However, state laws differ and it is advisable for pedestrians to acquaint themselves with local laws of their state. From a practical standpoint, even though you may have the right of way, the safest thing is to always use good judgment. After looking in all directions to make sure there is no immediate danger from the oncoming traffic, the pedestrian should proceed across the intersection using the crosswalk. When a vehicle is stopped for a pedestrian and a crosswalk, it can be assumed that other vehicles will also stop. But unless the pedestrian takes the precaution of looking in the direction of the oncoming traffic when abreast of the stopped car, he may be dead right. Another case where the pedestrian could be dead right is if he were foolish enough to step off the curb into the crosswalk into the path of the oncoming vehicle when the vehicle is so close that the driver wouldn't have time to yield or stop. Pedestrians must yield the right of way to vehicles when crossing at a place where there is no intersection. A jaywalker can never be dead right, but he most certainly can be dead wrong, and often is. In fact, crossing between intersections is one of the great causes of pedestrian fatality. In rural areas where there are no sidewalks, the pedestrian should walk on the left side of the road, facing traffic, staying as far off the road as possible. With the cost of transportation ever on the increase, many young people think they must resort to hitchhiking. Unfortunately, hitchhiking is undependable and can be dangerous, and in some states is against the law. One never knows if your benefactor is a safe driver and if his car is in good mechanical condition. In case of an accident, you may find you are not covered by insurance. From the driver's standpoint, picking up a passenger is undesirable too. If an accident occurs, the driver is responsible and may find he has a lawsuit on his hands. Many safety devices have been developed for pedestrian safety. The pedestrian overpass is one such device. It should be noted that the overpass is constructed only in places of extreme danger. Therefore, it is our duty as adults to use this device for our own safety and for the example we can set for children. Pedestrian attitude is an important safety factor. Too many adults dismiss pedestrian safety rules, thereby endangering themselves and the drivers. 
One such offender is the person who is so engrossed in what he is doing or so preoccupied with other thoughts that he completely disregards signal lights, crosswalks, and other safety devices. Alcohol and gasoline don't mix. Drinking and driving is a serious offense. But we don't give much consideration to drinking and walking. Yet statistically over the years, it has been proved that more pedestrians than drivers have had fatal accidents when under the influence of alcohol. The pedestrian who has been drinking is subject to the same problems as the driver. His inhibitory mechanism has been dulled. He has more assurance and less self-control. His judgment of speed and distance are impaired, and he takes chances he wouldn't ordinarily take. Unfortunately, he has no steel enclosure such as the driver to protect him. In case of an accident, his body takes the full impact of a collision, and he is often fatally injured. Walking at night can be doubly dangerous. To be on the safe side, pedestrians should wear or carry white and be bright for night. Many pedestrians do not drive and have never driven. They are unaware of the limitations of car and driver. They are not trained to judge speed and distance and are usually unaware of the minimum stopping distances of vehicles at given speeds. They are therefore more vulnerable to accidents than pedestrians who do drive. Another miscalculation of the non-driving pedestrian is that he doesn't realize that every car has blind spots, and though he can see the oncoming car, the driver may not be able to see him. If you can't see the eyes of the driver, you may be sure he can't see you. Statistically, nine out of 10 pedestrians killed were non-drivers. This behooves every non-driving pedestrian to allow his calculations a large margin of safety when applying them to oncoming traffic. Nobody in their right mind plays Russian roulette, yet pedestrians play a game that is just as dangerous every time they dart out between two cars. This practice is suicidal because the pedestrian is often in front of the oncoming car before the driver has a chance to react to the danger. Unless the pedestrians are unusually agile, they will find they may be dead wrong. Stepping out of a car into the traffic side of the street without looking carefully is another version of the same game. Yet as drivers, we unconsciously do this when we park our car and change from the role of driver to that of pedestrian. It is a strange paradox that one moment we're the driver cursing the careless pedestrian, the next moment we're the pedestrian cursing the careless driver. No matter which side of the wheel we're on, we are prone to stand up for our rights or what we feel are our rights, rather than being courteous and safe. We often put ourselves in the position of the boy who stood in the middle of the railroad tracks to stop the oncoming train, trusting to the skill of the engineer and the brakes of the locomotive. Such was the case with Mr. Smith. He was right, but he almost died. about it the next time you have the choice. Be courteous and smart. Don't be dead right. <laughs>